Hello and welcome to the Orthodox View, where we discuss latest religious news from an Orthodox Christian perspective. I am its host, Philip Champion. Relations with Serbia are very important for the Holy See, and they need to be deepened in the future. This statement was made by the head of the Vatican's Secretary for Relations with States, Paul Richard Gallagher, during his meeting with Serbian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nikola Selakovic. We're very much interested in deepening the cooperation in the nearest future. Who knows what fruit it may bring for the good of the citizens of Serbia and for the relations with the Catholic Church. Gallagher also said that he was going to visit Serbia in the nearest future and it would be his second visit. He noted that he was looking forward to the visit to Belgrade. A major research made in the recent time on the history of Russia was presented in Paris. The book by Jean-Pierre Arignon, My History of Russia, covers events for over 1,000 years from the resettlement of Eastern Slavs to our days. Professor Arignon has devoted over half a century to the study of Russian history. He had been a true admirer of Russia and a resolute opponent of Russophobia. In his works, he sought to make Russia more understood by Western readers. The French researcher was convinced that the history of Russia is global and it needs to be seen not only in the field of politics and economics, but also in the sphere of culture and social life. In his book, he speaks of an important role that orthodoxy played in Russian history. The book has become the last work of the outstanding scholar who passed away this spring. Students of theological schools of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church have set off for a three-month educational trip to Lebanon. As part of the tour, they plan to attend lectures at the Institute of Theology of the Balamand University in Lebanon, to study Arabic, to visit the most famous churches, monasteries, and other sacred objects. The students will also get acquainted with the parish and monastic life of the Patriarchate of Antioch. The trip is being made with the blessing of His Beatitude Patriarch John X of Antioch and all the East and His Beatitude Metropolitan Anufri of Kiev and all Ukraine. The objectivity of the mass media in how they cover the developments in Ukraine was assessed by the 9th International Festival of Orthodox Media, Faith and Word. The discussion was held as part of the panel on the Fanar's actions in Ukraine and how they were covered by the Orthodox mass media. The expert community concluded that the Orthodox mass media represent perhaps the only source of truthful information about the Ukrainian events after schismatic churches were legalized by Constantinople. One of the participants of the event, Miss Peggy Doko, a journalist from Greece, described how the Ukrainian church issue was reflected in the European mass media. She said that most of the Greek mass media had adopted Constantinople's position and are reluctant to look properly into what is happening in Ukraine. According to her, it is necessary to be ready for many new problems to be created by Patriarch Bartholomew. Miss Peggy Doko said the following, I quote, Patriarch Bartholomew does not wish to accept the fact that he makes mistakes. And the Russian church must influence the public opinion, since the schism between Moscow and Constantinople has also created problems between Russia and Greece on many issues. In Israel, at the bottom of the sea, a diver has found a 900 years old sword from the times of Crusades. Despite the fact that the sword is fully covered with shells, the Israel Antiquity Authority has stated that it has been preserved in an ideal condition and represents a remarkable and very rare discovery. Experts stated that the sword was discovered due to a sand shift after a storm. The sea coast of which the artifact was found used to be in antiquity a safe haven for vessels during storms and there may be a good deal of such discoveries. Well, this is all for now. Thank you for your attention and see you next time on the Orthodox View.